there fishy folks and welcome back to the channel. Today on Michael's Fish Room, quarantine. How to do it, what is it, and what do I do? Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Before we get started, I just want to say a happy Thanksgiving to all my American subscribers and viewers. And I think it's uh, Thanksgiving in Japan on Wednesday, and it was Thanksgiving in Canada last month. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. So today we're going to be talking about quarantine, uh, what is my method, and all that stuff. So first, let's talk about what is quarantine. Well, it's simply observing the fish before you put them in their main tank or final tank. Uh, to make sure they're healthy. And another question I get is, do you need another fish tank? You don't, you just need something to keep them in. It could be a tote, could be one of those Rubbermaid shoe boxes, the plastic shoe boxes, could be a jar if it's big enough, it doesn't really matter. Now, I happen to recommend a fish tank, the smallest fish tank you can get that'll hold the fish safely and keep them healthy because I like the glass sides to to view the fish, to observe them, to see if they're healthy, to see if they're healing or not healing or what have you. Are they showing any signs of anything? And the glass makes it easier for me to see. Again, I also recommend the smallest um, vessel you can get because that'll save you money on medication because medications are dosed by volume. So you want the smallest volume you can get in a temporary situation to uh, quarantine your fish. Now. The next question I get asked a lot is, do you need a separate filter? Yes, in my, in my procedure you do because there's no water changes being done during my quarantine procedure. So what is my procedure? Well, I add three specific meds that cover a wide variety of issues and I observe. So what are those medications? Hold on, I need a drink. Guys, I love my coldest water cup. I wasn't a fan of the straw or the color at first, but I like the color it's grown on me. I love the straw. Um, I love the shape. It's got this flat spot, so it's easy to hold. And best yet, big sale, coldestwater.com, up to 50% off certain products, minimum of 20% off most things. Great for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or just something for yourself. Check out the coldestwater.com. All right, folks, back to quarantine. So I use three specific medications, and the first one I use is Expel P by Fritz. This is essentially a Vamisole, and it treats for internal parasites. In my experience, almost every fish I get from a fish farm has internal parasites. If they're healthy, you usually can't tell. Uh, but if they're not healthy, they become very skinny, lethargic, they might start to shimmer. And uh, before I sell them to you, I want to make sure they're healthy. So I hit them with a good medication for internal parasites. Now for external bugs, I like Fix Ick by Fritz. And uh, to be quite honest, I've used Ickex for years and I recently was given this uh, to try by a, a great vendor and uh, he's, he's basically sold me on it. It, it works great. Um, it's very similar to Ickex, but I find it, I, I believe it's to be a little stronger. And in my situation, it works great. The last thing I use is uh, a good all around antibiotic. And I, I've chosen Furan 2. Well, can't get Furan 2 anymore. And if you can, it's really expensive. So the generic version of Furan 2 is Nitrofurazone, uh, which, like I said, is the generic version, you know, compared to the name brand version. Not as expensive and readily available from, uh, from vendors. So. That's the med trio I use. Now, uh, what I do is I add the meds to the tank, the quarantine tank, as per the directions based on water volume. Then I observe for seven days. No water changes, but I feed them regularly. They have the same light schedule, the same temperature. Everything else is the same that you normally would do other than water changes. <coughs> I'm fine. And I observe this time. This is why I like a glass fish tank because it's easy to see the fish. You can look at the side, you can look at the top, you can try to look at the bottom. You can see how they're swimming, how they're interacting. If during this seven day period, everything is fine, I don't see any additional worms, everybody's acting healthy, eating right, seems to be gaining weight, 
On the eighth day, they're good to go. Whether I put them in a different tank, I'm fine. I add them to another tank. I sell them, whatever it is, quarantine is done. Now, let's just say I see something specific. Uh, after day one, I notice red worms coming out of their butt or, you know, in the tank. And Expel P says to change water during treatments. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep the same water to keep the same medicine in the water. So I might treat for red worm with uh, Fenbendazole or Levamisol flake as per the directions on the flake. Um, I may treat though, just like the package says, and if I do that, if I start changing water in the middle of the quarantine process, when I'm done treating for the specific ailment, I'll start the quarantine process again. Okay, so let me just reiterate. Add the three meds, day one, feed, normally. Lights, normal. Temperature, normal. No water changes for seven days and observe. If everything is fine, we're done with quarantine. If during the seven day period I notice something specific, let's just say I notice more red worms coming out. I treat specifically for that. Could be red worms, could be ick, could be velvet, could be anything, any ailment. I target that specifically. If I have to change water during that targeting specific treatment, I start the whole quarantine process over when I'm done. That's what I do, that's what works for me, that gives me a good peace of mind that I'm selling healthy fish. Okay, now these meds do expire, so you know you have to be careful when you buy them. I know that this trio that I've worked with with a couple other fishy folks um, is available at kgeaquatics.com and I believe they're on sale as a uh, quarantine trio. So check out kgeaquatics.com. In addition, I know Keith is having a uh, a Black Friday sale, there will be a, a promo code down in the description for you to use on his website as well. Now that's, that's what I do for domestic fish. Those are fish I get from my local breeders or from uh, a store if I happen to buy them. If I get them from friends or I win them at an auction, I treat them just like that. Imports are slightly different. With imports, I use the same quarantine trio but I add kosher salt of a healthy variety a healthy amount of kosher salt because typically they're going to be growing in more in water with a higher salinity because seawater is free and uh, clean water can be expensive in some parts of the world so um, now the only way I deviate from this quarantine method is if I notice any sign of commonaris any pintail any fuzziness any sign saddleback anything I immediately treat for commonaris, uh, which I have a video for. I'll put a link up here for you. And it's kosher salt and methylene blue. Um, and that's what I do to treat. Now the commonaris treatment is a 10 day treatment. So I'll treat for 10 days. Then I wait five days to make sure everybody's healthy and I start the quarantine process. So that's what I do. I put them in a tank, I observe them for a little while and then I decide am I going quarantine or commonaris? They are getting one, and then if they get common R's, they're gonna get the quarantine after that. And that's it, that's my quarantine procedure. Guys, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you know if I go live or release a new video. And uh, you know, share it in the fishy groups. Um, it certainly helps me and I'll help your fellow fish keepers. Again, if you find it uh, helpful. Any comments or questions, you can leave them down below or email me through my website, michaelsfishroom.com, and I'll do my best to answer them. Hope everyone has a great day, and uh, see you soon. <laughs> Guys, if you like what you saw, you find it helpful, feel free to share, subscribe if you, uh, you haven't been a subscriber yet, or you have, oh, Jesus. Uh, usually the... Now let's say I see something specific. So they come in on Monday, uh, I start the quarantine process day one. I feed them day one, and I start quarantine day one. Um, All right, fishy folks. Well, the light's not perfect yet. Hold on. Let's do the hair, okay, fine. Take some water first.
<coughs> Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to the channel. No. That said, this is again what I use. Uh, I buy my products. No, no, no. All right, fishy folks, so let's talk about quarantine. What is quarantine? Well, some pump's going off, so we're gonna have to start over. So you're gonna want as much beneficial bacteria as possible. That's the sump pump. We'll wait. That's actually not the sump pump. That's the uh, the washing machine that's going next door. That's the drain. But the sump pump will probably go off because it's going to get full. It didn't. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. Today, I also, for external buggers, I use Frit Fix Ick, not Fritz Ick, Fix Ick. For external buggers, I use Fix Ick by Fritz. I've switched from Ick X to the Fritz product because I really like the Fritz products, um, and I spilled it all over my shirt. That's fantastic. 